Burn, baby, burn! I think anybody that has a brain ever since the Jets acquired uh, Aaron Rodgers. He is completely off base with the shit he's saying about Mike Williams. Devontae Adams is officially a New York Jet. So I had to talk to one of the craziest and biggest Jets fans on the internet I know, Alex Robson. I'll put the links to all of Robson's stuff in the description below if you guys want to go check him out. He has been waiting for the Jets to be good for years, so when it didn't happen with Aaron Rodgers, he knew something had to happen. Here's his reaction to the Devontae Adams news. Burn, baby, burn. A disco inferno burn. Sorry, Robson. I know you're a Jets fan, but we're over here celebrating the Raiders' funeral, pretty much. Uh... Celebrating the life and the season of Devontae Adams' time failed as a Raider, but it's finally happened. I've been talking about it for years. If anyone's watched any of my videos, Devontae Adams to the Jets, Devontae Adams to the Jets, Devontae Adams to the Jets. So I had to have the biggest Jets fan I know on this week, <laughs> Alex Robson, for some talk and some reactions to this Jets trade. And really, I just, I just kind of want to pour on the Raiders. Here, but <laughs> Alex, how you doing, man? I appreciate you for coming on. You're probably hyped, right? Oh yeah, it's a great move. Uh, kind of have you said you've been talking about. It. I think anybody that has a brain ever since the Jets acquired uh, Aaron Rodgers a couple years ago knew. Or is in denial? Yeah, this this was probably going to happen. This was a deal that just the relationship those two guys have dating back to Green Bay. Um, Aaron Rodgers doesn't win two MVPs like he did without how Devontae Adams was. And Devontae Adams doesn't become the receiver that he ended up becoming without Aaron Rodgers. Just two guys that love each other to death. And talking about them Raiders, man, uh, I guess it's a national holiday, uh, watching them burn to the ground, I guess, because uh, I get kind of a joy out of it too. But um, I mean, it does happen annually. So you might be onto something there. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things, man. Just one of those things. One of the, I can't really say much because the Jets have sucked my yeah, entire life. Yeah, here. Chargers too. But uh <laughs> hey, Chargers are good this year. <laughs> yeah, there you go. At least you got that going for you. You got a competent head coach now. <laughs> but anyways, Robson, what did you think was really the issues before we get to this Tay trade? Like the 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 timeline here is is kind of crazy because in my opinion, I felt and the reason that I've been really hyped on the Jets for both years that they've had Rodgers last year obviously ended very, very quickly. Hey, sorry for interrupting myself, but one quick Reminder, before you forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you can be here every single time I post. It's the free way you guys can support the channel. We're trying to build something special here very early on in the stages here. We only have 10,000 subscribers. We're trying to get 20,000 subscribers. The only way that's possible is if you guys support the channel by liking the video, subscribing, turn on notifications. And this year it's not been going as I hyped them <laughs> either but it is because of the defense. I know that Aaron Rodgers is going to figure out the offense side of the ball eventually in some way, shape or form, whether it's through dominating on the ground again with Brees Hall eventually or acquiring Devonte Adams. And, you know, Garrett Wilson now had his breakout game this year. Just, just kind of see that connection getting a little bit better. Uh, you knew Aaron Rodgers <laughs> and this offense was going to figure it out at some point. My hat that I was hanging on with the Jets hype and saying that they're still a playoff team was the defense and they fired Robert Sala. And I was like, well, this is the defensive freaking guy that's kept this together somehow through all of this chaos over the last couple of years. And the defense has still been good every year, like objectively. No one can even argue that the defense hasn't been top 10 over the last like three to four years that they've had Robert Sala out there. What kind of, from your perspective, is this fixing? Man, honestly, it's just such a weird situation with the Jets right now I don't recall a team having this much talent but being still so dysfunctional like it's so oh, odd just that game in. yeah um I don't know how much validation there is in the claims that Aaron Rodgers had anything to do with Robert Sala getting fired I pers I mean we can't confirm or deny that um Woody Johnson has never really been that hands-on before he's never done it in his time owning the New York Jets fired mm -hmm. a head coach mid-season that's including the disaster that Adam Gase was it's just such a weird situation. Um, what I think this helps with the Jets, though, is it gives him another reliable weapon. It gives him somebody outside of Garrett Wilson, who multiple times last week was seeing double coverage and throughout these fat first couple of weeks has been seeing multiple defenders on him. Alan Lazard still leagues the NFL and drops. Mike Williams, as much as I know you as a Chargers fan, love the guy. It hasn't worked with him in the Jets so far. I don't know how much legitimacy there is with him running. I know, bring him on back. I know, I know. But um, I don't know how much legitimacy there is to him running the wrong route. I don't know. I'm not a 
not a football coach. I don't know. I'm not Aaron Rodgers. I don't know. Um, I'll say this, Alex. I'm a huge Aaron Rodgers fan. I haven't completely turned on him because of this. He is completely off base with the shit he's saying about Mike Williams. But mm-hmm. then again, I, we don't. I don't know. Like I don't know the play calls. I don't know. That's why I'm saying. Like, fine. If you don't want Mike Williams, I want Mike Williams. Send him back. Send him back. <laughs> And anyway. even then, you can't really deny he's kind of looked a little bit different since coming back. That TL maybe kind of I, messed with him a little bit. I honestly he, think, like from what I've seen, he he looks similar. Like he's just a jump ball guy. That's what he, that's what he is. I know that uh, the Chargers tried to get him to be more than that, but he never was a great route runner. He never mm-hmm. was. He's never had top end speed. He's not a, a speed demon. He is literally a jump ball guy. And if you go and watch all ten of his catches this year, they're almost all jump balls. So I, I feel point, like like you're getting you're getting Mike Williams, and that's why I want him because the Chargers right now are really putting pressure on defenses to load the crap out of the boxes, and now you get to start throwing jump balls with Mike Williams outside. It's going to go back to what it was with Herbert and him in previous seasons, I think. And and Mike's now had two knee injuries. Uh, I think I think that he's fine, and I would give up that. It's going to be a six or seven round pick. Like he's going to be almost free. We'll see what happens to the Jets this year. I appreciate you again for coming on, Alex Robson. Let them know where to find you on social media uh, for the podcast. I know you're on all all platforms. You're going to be firing it back up eventually. Yeah, eventually some life changes have happened. I've moved from my home in Virginia all the way out to the middle of nowhere in Kansas working at a D2 school. So the Robson Sportscast is a little bit on hold right now, but eventually that'll get back started. Uh, You can find the show on Instagram, and you can find the show on any major streaming platform, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get it, you can find it. And who knows, Mike, maybe now and again, you and I are going to be right back on here. Who knows? Oh, that's what I was about to end that with. Like, you'll if you're not even on there, you'll definitely be on here. And we'll get ready, get ready, get ready for the Rob's Sports Sportscast here at NFL Mike's Corner every once in a while to talk some Jets or talk about anything, honestly. I have to find that song again. I've forgotten about that. That's how long it's been. <laughs> it's a good like beat. I, I know the producer very well. I see him basically Shout out. every other weekend, so. Shout out RC Productions, my man Phil Flames. Oh, yeah. yeah, and speaking of RC Productions, he's the producer of the beat that's about to play right now. Thank you for tuning in to another NFL Mike video. Now it's time to go make more football friends or go and compete in the Mike's Pick'em's Challenge or against me in, in daily fantasy football challenges by joining my completely free NFL group chat. Or head to 50 down dot shop and check out and see if we got your team's newest designs or now you can simply rep your favorite players without having to wear another team's gear and then tag us in pictures of you wearing your fifth down merch for a shout out in the next episode of nfl mike's corner and help us reach our goal of getting a thousand nfl fans wearing fifth down or you can head to the next nfl mike video by clicking it it's on your screen go ahead